Hi guys, it's Minecraft here. Welcome to this Minecraft modding tutorial. This is episode 6, and today I'm going to teach you how to add armor to the game. Yeah! So let's crack right into it, and we're going to put another comment, and it's armor materials. And like before, it's a public static armor material. Control space to finish that off. And it is American, so armor doesn't have a U in it. And I'm going to call this copper armor material. And that's going to be equal to enum helper dot add armor material. And the name is going to be copper, if I spell that right. Texture name. Now here you have to put your mod ID first. So B-O-E colon then the name so mine's gonna be copper underscore armor now I've got a word document again here so this just gives you all the values so the durability for the helmets times 11 for the chest plate times 16 for the leggings times 15 and for the boots it's times 13 and I'm thinking like an iron one so I'm thinking that's gonna be 15 Reduction amounts, uh, damage reduction, it's an interray, that's what these mean here. And uh, for leather armor, it's 7, and that's basically how much it reduces the damage. So I'm just going to copy the iron one. You'll be able to download this in the description, though, so everything should be fine. Enchantability, now this is just used for calculating, enchanting it. So, I'm going to put it same as iron again, so that's 9. So, put that 9 and 6 semicolon on the end. So, we register, registered our armor material. So, let's actually create the items. So, let's do a slash slash armor. E. And it's going to be a public static item armor. And copper underscore helmet. And if you just hover over this, and it's armor without the U, sorry, that's just how I spell it. And you want to copy and paste this, so select it, Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, and that'll be those sorted. So obviously we need to register them, but we need to initialize them as well. So we can't actually do this yet because like with the pickaxes and that lot you have to have our own version so let's go make that now it's quite easy so go to your items package click the new class button and item mod armor so this has got extend item armor control shift o and um, uh, add constructor. Don't know what that was about. Add a constructor, and I'm just going to add something here. So add a comma, string, unlocalized name, and then this dot set unlocalized name, unlocalized name. So that should be that for that class. So we can now register the items. So it's copper underscore helmet equals new item mod armor. Draw space to fill that up. And why does that always open? No clue. So the material. So this is going to be copper armor material. So select that. Render index is going to be. Zero. Armor type is going to be one. No, zero. Unlocalized name. And this one's going to be copper. Let's go helmet. So then you want to then select. Oh crap! I press Control C. No, Control C that. And just do it. Copy and pasting again. You want to change this one to chest plate. And this one to a one. And change this to chest plate here. 
I'm change this one to leggings. And you want to actually make this one two. So this is because it actually uses a different um, image for the leggings that goes over you. So that's why that's a one. And this is going to be in leggings here. And same again. This is going to be on the zero. So this is going to be boots. And just change this to boots here. And also change this to three. So I believe that's correct. Um, yep, I think that is. Just checking in my brain. And then slash slash here. We're going to do the armor. So I'll, I'll just put a comment here. I forgot to do that slash slash armor. So we're going to just register them now. Register item. Copper underscore helmet. I like to do it in like some sort of order. Just so. I don't know. I just like it that way. It's just nicer I think. Leggings. And boots. And I'm just going to copy that. Actually I'm going to copy all of that. Just. going to copy all of that. And paste that, but just change this to register render. And don't know what happened there. Control V and Control V. So that's just going to register all the renders. So now we actually need to do some other stuff. So we want to go to en underscore us and get the names done. So that's going to be item dot copper underscore helmet dot name equals copper helmet. Now we need to get the images done for it. And the models, so yep, we get some models done. So let's go over to our resource pack. So, um, the evil resource pack 1.8. And I know this Minecraft 1.8.9 Forge, but there's no source for that, so I can't use that yet. So that's why I'm still doing 1.8 modern tutorials, not 1.8.9. I will be updating the the Okay, no. So we want to just find iron. So select iron boots, chest plate, helmet, leggings, just control C. And then we can just put this in the models for the item control V. And then just right click and rename these. So that is in fact, if you want to rename stuff, it's actually refractor rename. And that's going to be copper underscore boots. Let's open that as well and change this to copper. Here, I might as well copy copper. But you don't forget BOE, your mod ID first. Just so it knows where to go to. So now we need to get the items, so just find where that's going to go. In there. So if we do, in fact, go Minecraft textures, items, and iron, chest plate, helmet, leggings, and boots. Just control C that. Go back to here. And here, Control V, and we're going to rename again. But we want to open it in Paint.net. So copper again. Oh, copper! I want to copy that. There, you want to open these up. So open up leggings. Open up helmet. Open up. Uh, Open up the chest plate, open up the boots, 
and then we want to just change these out a bit so let's just zoom in as I normally do and let's get texturing so and that looks lovely so we can in fact close that might as well leave it open because we're going to do something else with that again so you want to actually go over to your texture pack again and now we actually need to make some new folders so I'm going to open up my where my mod is so if I just go here assets BOE textures and it's a new folder and it's called models this is like armor models um armor so we're going to stick the textures in here so let's just copy the iron one so iron layer one like iron layer two but don't forget what we called as so we called it copper i swear i just pasted that cancel we called as copper underscore armor so it's copper underscore armor let's just check i spelt that right copper underscore armor yep that's how we spelt it and this one's going to be copper underscore armor as well and then you want to open up both of these once it updates they go open up these in paint.net and we're going to texture these now And that is our legging to so just save that and we can close this now. So we just want to go to this and F5 to refresh everything. And let's try this out. Fingers crossed this works. Let's run our game. Hopefully everything loads up without any errors. And we should see in chat that we have in fact registered them. So yes, yeah, so let's just wait for it to load up. Okay, so the game loaded up fine for once. And you can see that everything registered fine. Yep. So let's do a quick test. Let's slow the pat world. And I might already have the items. I probably do. Because I tried to record this before. And you know. There is. No I don't. So I'm going to make a day. So let's just open up our inventory. So you should see that in combat. Copper helmet, copper leggings, copper boots. Now, I don't know why. I might have. You might want to rearrange the way that you register these. You probably do. So it orders it better. But if we go into our inventory, I'm already wearing it. And there we go. We got some armor. And if we're going to survival, yes, it takes up some armor space. Hold on. It takes up some bars down here, and it probably will protect us, because everything else works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. I'm out.